This is it. Today, I'm gonna platinum the God of War trilogy. It's gonna be like my first platinum trophy ever. As you guys can see right here, I have zero platinum trophies. So this is pretty much the start of my entire like platinum journey. So not only for God of War, other games as well, but that's what we're gonna start with today. Coming up first, of course, is the goaded game God of War 1. All right, so I've gotten some trophies here and there, mostly just playing through stories of games. I've never got the platinum because I've never actually went and hunted for trophies specifically. And can I just say, it feels so weird to be back on this game i recently finished god of war ragnarok and comparing this game i just i feel so much lighter here i think that's the best term it's completely different styles all right so one of the trophies that caught my eyes was one that's called getting my ass kicked it's the one where you die so many times that asks you if you want to drop a difficulty because how bad you are obviously i'm gonna do it now on purpose for the trophy but it's actually happened to me before i think when i was playing every god of war i think this is the perfect area to just get that trophy out of the way There we go, we got offered easy mode. Yes, we'll take it. And there's our trophy, getting my ass kicked. Turns out if you open a health crate while already at full health, you get a trophy. I didn't even know about that, I got that by accident. Did you guys know right here you don't even need a box? Let me show you a cool trick. Just like that, screw the box. Got hella gigawatts on us. All right, I'm pretty sure you get a trophy for taking the key from this poor captain. Thank you. The there God it is. I didn't come back for you. He thought Kratos came back for him. All right, we can't miss this trophy. It's this mini game right here. Stay, Kratos. Just a bit longer. We've reached Athens. Get your things and get out. Damn. <laughs> you know what? I am gonna stay a bit longer because I need you guys to give me my trophy. So yeah, you just do this mini game real quick. And then there you go, rocking the boat. I arrived at Athens and there was our first Minotaur encounter and then for a trophy, I had to deep throat him with my blade. Most trophies after that were simple. I just had to keep going on with the story. Take this power. It got a bit tricky when I had to save the Oracle before there's 10 seconds on the clock left. Jump! Oh my God, Kratos! I just lost so much time. This is bad. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Go! Oh, for the love of God, go! I don't want to miss this trophy. Why does he do that? He gets like stuck on the edge. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, don't fall. Do not fall. Oh, we made it. Damn, I went extra fast actually. It just needed to be like 10 seconds left. And there we go. I'm not tripping. She was wearing green, right? And with that, I swear her clothes Kratos changed. Set in motion. The events that would there we go. Don't leave her hanging. For the next trophy, I just had to kill the sirens in the desert. Don't they ever shut up? I just want to mention, I do love the names of the trophies you unlock because they, they just be so creative. So then from here, I continued to get the story related trophies until I found so many enemies in this one area. It was a perfect opportunity to hit that 200 combo trophy. I went way above 200 hits though. It was just overkill. Like I already got the trophy here and I was still going. All right, I mean, that's enough. You want the la okay get the last one i had to collect the muse key from this chest which was pretty hidden there were only two in the entire game so i didn't want to miss those right after this chest it was an easy trophy that is just story related finally found my last gorgonite to get the eyesore trophy killed some enemies got another trophy and then right here is the second muse key that i had to find it was pretty hidden poor guy we had to burn him but you know it's business it's just i gotta get my trophies man don't take it personal i feel like this one could have been kind of missable you have to like I don't know, make out with this purple mermaid ghost underwater? Most of the trophies after this point was literally just progressing through the game. After reaching Pandora's box, I just felt it. I was so tired. I was like, finally, I'm nearing the end of the game. Oh, but that excitement went away instantly when I reached a certain spot. This tower of hell, I remember it too. I had to pass this without getting hit once. So many attempts, you can see right here, my back was hurting. It was late at night. I could barely rage out loud. But then I finally got the pattern down, beat it. Oh, so satisfying. 
Crazy thing is, there was a, another tower right after it that I had to go through. This was like all in one run, by the way. But finally, I crawled out of hell. Now it's time for Ares, the final boss battle of God of War 1. I just want to share this glitch. Ares hit me so hard, I started swimming in the mountains. Like, that doesn't even... What? What is this glitch? I killed Ares. This was the final boss battle. Pretty much wrapped up the main story trophies. And then, of course, the trophy for completing the entire game. Surprisingly, I also got the speedrun trophy. Speed of Jason McDonald. I wasn't even going for the speedrun, but that's two birds with one stone. Around here, I only had four trophies left. One of them was so easy. You just had to watch this. The birth of the beast thing. We only have three trophies left. One of them is being the challenge of the gods. I have to complete these challenges. After that, I gotta max out all my weapons. I know a red orb glitch somewhere on the map that I gotta get to. Once I finish that, it'll just give me the platinum trophy. So that's three and then we'll be done. But for now, let's see how hard these challenges are. So god challenges, moves and magic have been modified to suit each challenge. Okay, got challenge. One out of ten. There's ten. Knock eight enemies off the platform before time runs out. Killing an enemy will fill the challenge. Already in the first challenge, I was struggling. Like, I'm the one who was falling off the ledge. One of the challenges was actually driving me insane. It was putting me in this arena with a bunch of, like, Medusas and these annoying hitters. I had to fight for, like, I, it felt like 15 minutes straight just to beat the challenge. I made it to the last enemy and died. All right, we made it to challenge number 10. And I just want to say these challenges have been absolute hell. Okay, so kill enemies to make platform rise reach the top platform to beat the challenge oh i know i know bounce them off like this oh wait those damn that dude yeeted me off this challenge was insane like i they just keep knocking me off they made me hit ballerina poses i just hated it found a simple move a strat that helped me out so much it was just l1 circle and i just spammed it honestly oh can i just jump on this platform now Please. Yes! <laughs> now that the hard part is done, I just had two trophies left. One of them being to upgrade all of my weapons. So I found that glitch spot to give me a bunch of red orbs. And then that's it. Let's go. After finishing that, I got the final trophy, the platinum trophy. First God of War is done. Now it's time to move on to God of War 2. Wow. I just want to mention that this is easily the most badass frame of Kratos. Look at this. I compared the God of War 1 and God of War 2 trophies and they are so similar. Most of God of War 2 trophies are actually just the story related stuff you know like the typical getting resurrected after getting killed getting new weapons bashing people's heads in getting some more new power-ups a bunch of kratos shit you know what i mean around here i had to keep an eye out because there are some missable items after you get the golden fleece after arriving to this location i had to break the walls by deflecting the rays i found my first urn these are actually really important because they have to do with two trophies i gotta collect all of them for one trophy and then i gotta use at least two urns after beating the game to unlock another trophy. Shortly after this, I met up with Medusa's fat sister. Killing her, of course, gave me a trophy and then there's more boss fights and just progressing through the story. That was literally most of the trophies in this game. Besides the urns, there was not really much to look out for. Until I made it to the loom chamber, this might have been missable. Usually it's not. You just have to fight through this area under 10 minutes. It depends on the difficulty you're playing on. It was pretty easy for me. Right after that, I fought the last sister of fate, so I'm pretty much nearing the end of the game. Defeating Zeus pretty much wrapped it up for the story trophies. Also, I really liked the trophy name after defeating Zeus. Daddy issues. That's an understatement. And just like that, the main story is done. We get a trophy for that. The end begins. Next up is the challenge of the Titans. That's where it gets kind of difficult. All I had to do for the first challenge is rip out a Cyclops eye before the time ends. There's a trophy that requires you to rip out 20 Cyclops eyes. So I found this as a perfect opportunity to just take advantage of it. And there it is. You've collected 20 Cyclops eyes. I soar. Yes, I'm getting so close right now. There's a challenge where I have to get air kills. I have to lift them up and kill them mid-air. It was way too tough. I was trying that move where you hold triangle to lift them up and there's so many moments where that move just didn't work. This challenge probably would have taken me like five years if I didn't find out about lifting them up with the wings. After I figured that out, it was just pretty much easy. So there's a trophy that I kind of got by accident because I forgot that I have to kill a certain amount of stone people. This challenge pretty much like forced me to do it, so it was perfect. Everyone's getting stoned. I remembered that there was a trophy where I have to hit a 500 hit combo. I was like, how the hell am I supposed to do that? Because I was playing it on easy to get the other trophies. So going through the story, I never had an opportunity to get that high or that many hits until this challenge. The difficulty is automatically harder here. Plus you get to slow down time. So it was perfect for me. The challenge after that one was pretty funny because it required me to like get a certain amount of orbs to win. I found a method where I upgrade my Blade of Olympus and then I make like this force field that sucks the orb 
orbs out of them. I don't know what happened, but it's like it broke the game. After a while, I finally made it to the final challenge. This one wasn't too hard because you know, with every challenge in God of War, you just have to find this meta. I got through the last one pretty easily, and damn, it was satisfying because I was almost done with the platinum. Finally, honestly, that name is perfect because it actually feels like my thumbs are bleeding. All right, there's one last thing to do. We just gotta use the urns, and then it'll give us our last two trophies. Where is it? Is it here? Okay, it's right here. So I think we just turn on any any of the two, right? We'll just turn on the top two. And then that should give us the trophy. Come on. There's one. And then the platinum. Oh, finally! Woohoo! That's two platinums down. And now it's time to move on to God of War 3. I was more excited to get the platinum trophy for God of War 3 compared to 1 and 2. I mean, for me personally, this is just my favorite God of War. Not just from the trilogy, but in the entire series. The combat just felt so satisfying. I don't know. Was something about it. I think even the sound effects, like the chain. It was great to be back on this game. Because, like, I think the best way to describe it is it had so much epicness. Like, the boss battles were the best out of the God of War games, in my opinion. The character design of the boss bosses were just intimidating and I had to play this on hard for a trophy so it was even scarier I had to not get hit once this Kratos just felt like peak Kratos it was just so hype the trophies for God of War 3 was slightly different than God of War 1 and 2 I feel like this game definitely had more missable trophies the first difference I noticed is God of War 3 requires you to beat the game on hard mode for a trophy that was not in the previous two games so that was already like a new challenge for me as always a lot of the trophies were just the main story trophies but before going in I realized one of the trophies required requires me to use every soul from the claws of Hades weapon. I had a late game save, so I found that as a perfect opportunity to just do that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go in on hard mode. I pretty much got most of the trophies because they were just story related along the way, like collecting stuff. I gotta look out for a couple of stuff. There's some I didn't do. Like I had to use the head of Helios to blind people. I had to burn people with a bow. There's godly possessions I didn't get. So there's still a couple difficult ones that I gotta do. I think I'm just gonna do them all on hard because I'm not trying to go through two runs or like multiple runs. On my way going through the story, I had to keep in mind that I gotta get the godly possessions because they hide them pretty good. The annoying thing is I actually miss one, the Helios one. That annoyed me so much because I was trying to get through this really fast and I wasn't saving. So the last save was so far away from Helios. I just kept going on and got the other godly possessions. I was like, I'll just get the Helios one later. Now, I ask you again, Kratos. Will you stay? The hell? I ain't no simp. There's a trophy that requires a lot of red orbs though. A trophy required me to kick 50 hounds. This was a perfect area, this chamber area, because they just kept spawning dogs and I kept farming it. God of War 3 had so many hidden chests that I couldn't miss, especially for the Minotaur horns, because that one was for a trophy. I'm glad I got that one out of the way early in the game so I could focus on the other ones. Now, these scorpions right here were like a blessing. I hate scorpions. They're disgusting, but look, they made me get two trophies here. Like, I love them in God of War 3. I had to burn enemies. I got that with the Bow of Apollo, and then back to back, I got the Blinding Enemies trophy. So that was a two birds with one stone moment. Oof, but it got really challenging once I reached the labyrinth. There's a save right outside of the labyrinth. I made sure to save there because there there's a trophy that requires you to beat the entire thing without dying. I was on the hard difficulty too. This area just has so much pressure on you because like if you die, you have to restart the entire thing. Of course, everything just requires patience, especially with hard stuff. Like in hard difficulty games, you just gotta be patient. So I had to make sure I was being extra safe and dodging and stayed on my toes. I died a couple of times, but it wasn't the hardest thing I've done. So I ended up going through the entire labyrinth without dying. And that was definitely satisfying to get the trophy for that one. I had to start diving down. I thought this is where I'm about to fight Zeus after I break the chains, but I forgot about this part. The area you land in is absolute hell. I mean, it's actually hell since you go all the way down to Hades, but I mean like hell in terms of fighting. As soon as you land, the first thing you gotta do is fight this Cerberus that literally births suicide bombing dogs at you. Good thing you can pick up those dogs and kick it back and then it explodes on the Cerberus, but I thought that was the meta. I was like, yo, I'm doing pretty good here. I just gotta keep this up. Oh, and then these piece of shit start of spawning. Oh, those ruin everything. I just hated that enemy since God of War 1, the one that snatches you. So at this point, I literally gave up. I was like, screw it. I'm just gonna go back to another save and go through the game again just to get that Helios trophy. Good way to cool my mind off and then I'll come back and defeat this boss. Wait, this isn't so bad when I keep dodging. I keep dodging fast as shit. They can barely hit me. Oh, <laughs> I hate this guy. Just die already. Okay, Blade of Olympus, you can't be this weak. 
Hold up, I'm about to give him so much lightning. I'm emptying the entire magic on him. Oh, that's so clutch. I love that ability from the Nemesis Whip. I was really nearing the end of the game, so I had more than enough red orbs to upgrade and get that trophy for the max out weapons. Now I was in the end game. This was getting really excited as soon as I started fighting Zeus. He was pretty difficult on the hard difficulty though. Makes sense, right? It's called hard difficulty, but not too hard. So I got through it and I think I died a total of five times through the entire boss fight, including the other stages. I have to mention that this fight is so damn epic. This might piss people off, but I'm not gonna lie. This fight made the Odin fight in God of War Ragnarok seem boring around here i was just waiting and wondering when do i get the trophy for beating the titan mode i was in the credits i was hesitant if i should exit the game i just didn't want anything to go wrong i didn't want to wait for the credits so i just quit game and then it gave me the trophy so this was perfect it's not for the challenges just like god of war 1 and 2 but this time is even better i only got seven challenges instead of 10. first challenge was pretty easy i just had to keep the amount of enemies alive under 50 within the time limit this one's kind of satisfying I could honestly do this all day. Oh shit, it's 45. No, no, there's responding too fast. Hurry the hell up, clock. Okay, we did it. But the next one was much more challenging. I had many more attempts to beat this one. They give you just bare hands and make you knock enemies off. You have to kill them before the time runs out. And it's so difficult when Kratos has no weapons. Oh, that's so beat out so much. One more, one more. No, two more. Three seconds. He didn't die! Oh no way, I just feel it like that last second. But overall, the challenges for God of War 3 weren't as difficult as the ones in God of War 1 and 2. Some of them were actually really fun. <laughs> Holy shit, it's getting so hectic. No, am I gonna make it 10 seconds? I'm not. Oh, 900, please. Whoa, that was actually last second. I saw I had 1,000. Oh, I fell. Oh, peace out. <laughs> There's a challenge just like this in God of War 2. Or was it 1? You just gotta jab them though. That's the best trap. Done. Alright, that is it for the challenges. There we go. We got the trophy for that. How close are we? We just gotta get the thousand hit combo. And then I get my platinum. I found a simple move. It was L1 circle while using the Claws of Hades. It still took so long though. 50 more. I don't even want to look at the hits right now. Shit, please. My thumbs are honestly hurting. No! Back, back. Yes, we got it. Oh, we got it. Platinum. Oh. That 1,000 hit combo trophy is harder than I thought. I was just saving it because I thought I can do it in the arena area. Yo, getting platinums is just draining. This is my first time hunting for them, and it's tiring but fun. Oh, uh, just look how nice that looks. Three. If you want to see more, let me know which game should I platinum next. Yeah, that was me getting the platinum trophies for the God of War trilogy. Thank you for watching.